What's up, y'all? It's the real Marlo. I'm back again with another video. Hey, this is my immediate reaction to the Marcus Brown versus John Pascal. Look, man, I'm so disappointed, bro. I'm so mad, man. This shit crazy to me, bro. Like, look, from the first round, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, break this down a little bit. So, from the first round, it was the battle of jazz for the first couple minutes, right? So then, Marcus Brown got in there and started throwing heavy shots, y'all. He started throwing heavy shots, and he was, he was, he was, he was making uh, John Pascal feel his power. Second round, it was a little. You know what I'm saying? It was an easy breeze. Marcus Brown won that round two. He won round two. Marcus Brown came out third round. He started hurting John Pascal. Almost got him out. He was hitting him hard. He was hurting him. Then, the knockdown happened, bro. I'm going to tell y'all the mistake Marcus Brown made. It's a couple. It's a few mistakes Marcus Brown made, man. One of them, the, the, the biggest mistake Marcus Brown made was underestimating this John Pascal dude, man. This dude is a veteran, bro. He been in there with the Klitschko's and shit like that. And, and and he hurt Klitschko plenty of times. And he hurt Klitschko in they fight. Okay, the second mistake Marcus Brown made. Fighting on the inside. The whole first three rounds, bro, I was getting pissed off because them sneaky right hands that John Pascal like to do like this, boom, and then come across with the right hand, the same right hand he kept catching Klitschko with. It's a sneaky right hand, bro. It's like a catch and shoot. And, but he wasn't really catching. He was he was ducking it and shooting it. Marcus Brown made a mistake. He kept trying to fight this dude on the inside. I'm looking at the TV like, Marcus, what the fuck is you doing, bro? Why the hell is you keep trying to fight this dude on the inside when you got the longer reach? But what it was was, Marcus Brown underestimated John Pascal. Marcus Brown felt like he got comfortable because he was hurting him in the third round. He got comfortable. He started trying to beat him on the inside. That was the mistake. Marcus Brown was trying to do the one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? The jab, jab, uh, the jab, the left hand, and then the right hook. But dude, John Pascal would duck the right hook and come across with the right hand and hit uh, Marcus Brown. With the right and catch him flush on the chin. And Marcus Brown kept letting his left hand, his left hand like this. He'll throw his right hook in the left hand like this. Dude come across smacking him in and shit. Man, you were supposed to keep your left hand up and throw your one two and beat him down. Just beat him down. But he he rushed it. He was it was, that's because of inexperience and Marcus Brown not being in the ring as much as he's supposed to. He need to be more active. He need to be in the ring more with these dudes, man. That, that, this shit upsetting me, man. This shit pissed me off, bro. He got, he catching cases and shit. He not in the ring that often. I mean, this dude was clearly the better boxing. John Pascal was clearly not the same. His legs wasn't the same. It was just a couple of little things he wasn't the same, but he still had that power, he still had that experience, and he still had that sneaky right hand, man. So, what can Marcus Brown come to fix this shit, bro? Marcus Brown got to get his rematch, and then the headbutt, y'all. The headbutt came in the eighth round, and they had to stop it. I really thought it was a draw. should have been a draw, but no excuses. They gave it to John Pascal, and uh, you know what, man? Uh, Marcus Brown can come back from this, bro. So it can be a rematch. He get his rematch in. Beat this dude, man. Knock him out. You know what I'm saying? He, it's some shit he need to tighten up on, man. But man, it's just, it's just a lot from not being focused, bro. He wasn't focused, man. He got too much shit going on with the girl and shit and all this shit. And then, you know what I'm saying? You're not in the ring that much. I mean, that was Curly's mistake, right? Why you think Marcus Brown kept saying, fuck? Fuck, fuck, he kept saying, because he like, man, I, I, he knew he was fucking up. He was clearly better than this dude, man, but he he got too cocky, fighting on the inner side with this dude, man. He, come on, man, it was Curly's mistakes, bro. But anyways, man, ups for John Pascal, man, another veteran, beating up on a young boy, and uh, he did a good job. He stayed in there. He clearly wasn't the same. But that right hand was the same, obviously. But, yeah, man, I'm disappointed, man. I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. That, that fucked me up. So, look, that's that. 
and I'm out, and I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? On this album, Kalanaki versus uh, Chris Evariola reaction. I'm out, y'all.